good morning dear students uh, hope you all fine before going to today's class let me revise the last two classes uh, topics first we have seen what is meant by a solution a solution means it is a homogeneous mixture of two components solute and solvent the one which is present in major component is known as solvent and the one which is present in minor component is known as solute for example if you take uh, sugar solution sugar where we are taking sugar only in uh, small quantity hence it is known as solute and we are and the uh, sugar is dissolved in large quantity of water hence here uh, water will uh, acts as a solvent so solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more two or uh, two components solute and solvent next we have seen the types of solution based on the physical uh, uh, physical state of the solute and solvent solutions are broadly classified into nine types then we have seen the example for each type next we have seen hmm, what is meant by a standard solution standard solution is nothing but a solution of known concentration which means uh, a definite uh, amount of solute is dissolved in a definite volume of solvent that is called standard solution so standard solution means we know the concentration of that particular solution whether it is one normal or 0.1 normal solution like that then we have seen the types of standard solution first one is primary standard and second one is secondary standard first we are going to see what is meant by a primary standard primary standard which means it must possess the following properties like it should be highly stable that is 99.98 percentage purity highly pure substance then uh, it should not be uh, hygroscopic and deliquescent uh, okay then uh, it mm, it should be easily soluble it must be cheap it must not be expensive so th uh, then we have seen so many properties so primary standard means it should be a pure substance it should be easily soluble then it should not be uh, expensive like that then secondary standard secondary standard solutions are highly deliquescent and uh, hygroscopic in nature hygroscopic is nothing but uh, absorbing water uh, moisture from the atmosphere so that it can be changed into liquid state by absorbing water example for uh, uh, hygroscopic compound is sodium hydroxide okay then uh, so uh, example for primary standard is um, sodium carbonate sodium chloride then oxalic acid ferrous ammonium sulfate all these are example for primary standard so secondary standard examples are best examples are sodium hydroxide and potassium permanganate then the concentration of the second standard are determined using the primary standard then we have seen what is meant by a titrant titrant is nothing or otherwise known as analyte what we are taking in the burette that is your burette solution titrate titrate is nothing but the solution we are taking in the conical flask the that solution is used for titration then what is the indicator indicator is nothing but which indicates the completion of a reaction by a change in color then what is meant by a volumetric analysis volumetric analysis which is used to estimate the amount of substance present in the given solution you are provided the example if you are provided with uh, hcl solution using that uh, solution uh, by volumetric analysis we are going to estimate how much amount of hcl present in the given solution okay so far we have seen this topics 
now we are entering into today's class what is meant by a titration titration is nothing but the process of addition of standard solution from burett into the solution of unknown concentration taken in the conical flask is known as titration this titration is also we have seen in the last class so today we are going to see what are the type of types of titration which are used in volumetric analysis the, uh, there are four types of titrations we are using in volumetric analysis acid based titration redox titration precipitation titration and complexometric titration uh, this is the basic idea about the four types of titration acid based titration which means in which an acid or a basic titrant reacts with an analyte that is a base or an acid uh, i am going to say in detail in each type so complexometric titration means there is a formation of complex then precipitation titration the analyte and the titrant reacts to form a precipitate then redox uh, titration uh, it will undergo both oxidation and reduction simultaneously then one by one we are going to see one by one first acid based titration acid based titration is otherwise known as neutralization reaction see hcl is a example for acid naoh is example for base this is acid and this is base the acid and base undergoes neutralization to give h2o water plus sodium chloride nacl this reaction is known as neutralization reaction once the reaction gets neutralized there is no more h plus ion and oh minus ion present in the solution because the h plus ion reacts with hydroxide ion to form water in, it involves acid based neutralization reaction in presence of water as a solvent this reaction involves combination of hydrogen h plus and hydroxide ion to form water so acid based titration is nothing but neutralization reaction it the uh, acid undergoes neutralization with uh, base to form salt plus water once the reaction gets complete there is no more h plus or oh minus ion present in the solution for this titration uh, we are uh, doing two uh, experiments in your volumetric analysis practical one is estimation of hcl and another one is estimation of sodium hydroxide using uh, indicator phenolphthalein indicator the phenolphthalein indicator is colorless in solution if you add one drop of phenolphthalein indicator in acid still it remains colorless then we are uh, consider we are, you are taking 20 ml of hcl in the conical flask then add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator still it is colorless then we are taking sodium hydroxide in the burette uh, when we are uh, titrating the uh, conical flask solution against uh, sodium hydroxide which is taken in the burette it undergoes uh, neutralization so once the reaction gets completed it is indicated by a change in color by means appearance of pale pink color which is the end point of the reaction okay then uh, vice versa for a uh, estimation of sodium hydroxide if you take a uh, sodium hydroxide in a conical flask then add one drop of phenolphthalein indicator it immediately it will give a uh, pink color if it is titrated against hcl it, if it is taken in the burette uh, then that is uh, uh, the end point indicates the color change from pink to colorless okay so acid based titration is otherwise known as neutralization reaction here the acid and the base new undergoes neutralization to give what salt plus water nacl plus h2o once the reaction gets complete uh, there is no more h plus and oh minus ion present in the solution in acid based titration we are using so many indicators like uh, phenolphthalein methyl red methyl orange uh, then uh, thymol blue these are few indicators that are used in acid based titration next what is meant by a redox titration redox titration is nothing but the word redox comes from 
two words combining two words r e d o x the first three letter stands for reduction and o x stands for oxidation so redox titration is nothing but both reduction and oxidation takes place in a reaction simultaneously ore nerathla and the reaction la oxidation un nadako reduction un nadako that reaction is known as uh, redox uh, reaction in the, the example for this type of titration is uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate versus kmno4 uh, you are using in your practical estimation of uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate the fas yeah, there your uh, burot solution is kmno4 and your pipet solution is ferrous ammonium sulfate fas in that the in fas versus kmno4 uh, the fe2 plus ion undergoes oxi oxidation to give fe3 plus oxidation is nothing but loss of electron whereas reduction is nothing but gain of electron it uh, gains electron and undergoes reduction okay here uh, i have given you one example kmno4 versus potassium permanganate versus sodium thiosulfate na2s2o3 sodium thiosulfate uh, sodium uh, okay here uh, the manganese undergoes reduction uh, sorry manganese undergoes oxidation okay so generally redox titration is nothing but both oxidation and uh, reduction undergoes simultaneously there is a transfer of electron this reaction involves uh, transfer of electrons among the reacting solutions are either oxidizing or reducing agent okay we have to consider only two point both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously and also there is a transfer of electron among the reacting sub uh, solutions okay then what is meant by a complexometric titration this is uh, example for uh, reducing agent sodium sulfide then kmno4 uh, which is the oxidizing agent okay then complexometric titration complexometric titration the word itself we have the uh, answer there is a formation of complex okay in this type of titration the titrate combines with the titrant to form complex salts the titrate uh, titrate is nothing but your uh, solution which is taken in the conical flask then titrant is the burette solution both uh, combines together to form a complex the uh, complex may or may not be soluble it may either soluble or insoluble for example see copper sulfate reacts with ammonium hydroxide it will form a inorganic complex then silver nitrate reacts with potassium cyanide to form potassium silver cyanide complex then uh, potassium nitrate this is the example for uh, the complex potassium silver cyanide complex the picture shows the potassium silver cyanide complex then in complexometric titration we are using a metal ion indicator ebt aerochrome black t indicator so in uh, in uh, in acid based titration we are using phenolphthalein or methyl red or methyl orange as an indicator in redox titration we are uh, we are not using any indicator there the kmno4 potassium permanganate itself will acts as a indicator so the kmno4 is known as self indicator but in complexometric titration we are using the metal ion indicator the example for metal ion indicator is ebt aerochrome black t indicator this complexometric titration is used to estimate the amount of oddness present in the given water ungalku kuduthirukra water la evlo oddness present a irukku abindrad determine pandradha indha indha complexometric titration okay so uh, in the uh, titration vandu pathina we are using aerochrome black tea as a indicator then you are using see here next experiment mm. aerochrome black tea is a dye which is used to find the used with magnesium and zinc 2 plus titration we are that we are taking edta ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid 
as a buret solution using this edta as a buret solution we are estimate the amount of hardness in your given water using a ereochrome black tea indicator we are uh, see here in the conical flask we, we are taking uh, 20 ml of hard water the hard water contains hardness either it may contain calcium or magnesium salt like calcium sulfate calcium chloride magnesium carbonate magnesium sulfate like that so the water contains either calcium or magnesium salt we are taking that pipetting out 20 ml of hard water then we are adding two drops of ebt indicator so that you will get a color like this this is the color of uh, ereochrome black tea indicator then uh, we are titrating it against edta which is taken in the buret so that the end point is the change of color from wine red to steel blue this is the end point of the titration okay so the complexometric titration is used to estimate the amount of hardness okay the hardness the how, how much amount of hardness present in either how much amount of calcium present in the given water or how much amount of magnesium present in the given water using ereochrome black tea indicator uh, the end point of the titration is wine red to steel blue color then last precipitation titration here also precipitation there is a formation of precipitate in a titration of this kind cations and the anions combined together to form a precipitate combined to form a compound of very low solubility thus a solid residue separates out solid uh, see here there is a formation of precipitate see here white precipitate here the red uh, red orange precipitate okay so precipitation titration is there is a formation of precipitate here for example see silver nitrate agno3 reacts with nacl to form this ag plus and cl minus ag plus is cation and cl minus is anion okay so ag plus and cl minus combine to form agcl white precipitate see here white precipitate similarly barium 2 plus reacts with so42 minus B, ba plus barium 2 plus is the cation and so42 minus is the anion so barium 2 plus and so42 minus combine to form a barium sulfate white precipitate this is a mother example for precipitation titration the formation of precipitate is this okay so we are today we have seen the different types of titration which are used in volumetric analysis uh, the four different types of titration are acid based titration redox titration precipitation titration and complexometric titration acid based titration which means neutralization reaction the acid and the base neutralize to form uh, salt plus water once the reaction gets complete there is no more uh, h plus or oh minus ion present in the solution then uh, indicator used in acid based titration or phenolphthalein indicator methyl red methyl orange okay then next uh, redox titration redox titration is nothing but both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously then there is a transfer of electrons uh, then the in uh, redox titration we are not using any uh, indicator because k mno 4 uh, will act as a self indicator it will act as a oxidizing agent and uh, sodium sulfate will act as a reducing agent another one example for redox titration is fas versus k mno 4 we are doing it in your practicals okay then complexometric titration there is a formation of complex the first point there is a formation of complex the titrant and titrate combines to form a complex that complex may be either soluble or may or may not be soluble either soluble or insoluble and this titration is used to, to determine the hardness present in the given water using uh, ereochrome black tea indicator okay in complexometric titration uh, in edta experiment there is a change of uh, color from wine red to steel blue it is the end point so complexometric titration is used to estimate the amount of hardness present in the 
given solution then la at last precipitation titration precipitation titration means the word itself it says there is a formation of precipitate the uh, cation and the anion combine to form a uh, compound it is the precipitate ag plus reacts with the cl minus to form silver chloride white precipitate similarly barium chloride and h2so4 barium 2 plus reacts with so4 2 minus to form barium sulfate white precipitate thus a solid residue separates out see the residue is nothing but precipitate which is separated out from the solution okay